Hello, so just a quick one today mm -hmm. about some of these Acer laptops uh, the ones that are using this small barrel jack um, there is an inherent uh, design flaw with the charging port uh, let me show you the situation is that the laptop works fine on the battery uh, the battery is not charging though and we, uh, when we connect the barrel jack we get no LED, no charging LED here. So you checked the charger and the charger puts out 19 volts. Then you checked the incoming voltage, let's say on this capacitor. There is 19 volts, so you assume the port is fine, right? So then you think to yourself, okay, time, time to take out the motherboard, uh, check the MOSFETs, um, and so on and so forth. Before you do that, uh, I need to show you something. Okay, so there's the multimeter. I have the barrel plugged in, right? So I come here as for ground, I come here as to plus, and we can see 19.3 volts is coming in. Uh, this one, the lines that you can see there, right? This one shows ground, which is correct. This one shows voltage. It can be uh, it can be varied from like three volts to nine volts. Whatever you see there, it's not correct. This small thing here. Is a sensing pin. When you pr plug the barrel jack, this should be grounded. It tells the laptop to start charging when this pin is grounded by the barrel jack. So we know the fault. The fault is the port, right? So what do you do now? Do you replace the port? Well, you can ask yourself. If the original one went bad, and they typically go bad like this, this is not like rare, all right? So the lesser quality replacement port, how fast it will go bad if you change it? Like 20 times it will be fine for charging? 40 times? 60 times? It will fail. So there is no point keeping the sensing circuitry in place. What you want to do is ground the sensing pin forever. Is it a good uh, repair? Yes. Is the repair you want? Yes. Is it dodgy? Also yes. But will the laptop work normally from now on? Yes as well so i don't see why you wouldn't do that if you know just changing the port will resolve the situation for just a little while for the owner of this machine there is no really a downside i can see uh, doing that because 99 percent of the ports don't have this functionality and the laptops are fine so let's just do that so that's how I do it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the wire is just there. So soldered from the leg to the chassis of the port, right? So now let's come with the charger. Oh, I'm not connected, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's connect the battery. Oh, maybe first the CMOS battery. Then the main battery. All right, good for now. Now here. Oh. And we have a charging light. So that's how you do it. 
it's literally just the stupid sand spins on these. <laughs> Thank you for watching. One minute repair.